morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I got good news and I also have bad news, but I won't share the bad news yet because I am not mentally prepared to share that bad news on YouTube. Uh, I'm still sad and hurt and heartbroken, but I'm going to share the great news. Okay. So Wednesday, I went for my citizenship interview and I passed. Okay. I am now a citizen. I am now an American. <laughs> oh God. I am excited. I'm happy because, um, finally I will be able to bring my mother to United States. And that was my goal since I came to America to have my family here, um, with me. So what happened? This is what happened. Um, I went and to be honest with you, I thought I was going to fail. I thought I was going to fail. I thought that I was not going to be able to answer certain questions because, um, because of the bad news that I don't want to share yet. Uh, cause I had so much in my mind, a lot in my mind that day. I woke up, I was depressed. I went to bed Tuesday night and I was up all day. I mean, I was up until 6 a.m. in the morning. Imagine you. My insomnia was, my insomnia is getting worse. Okay. It's getting worse and worse. I be up until 6 a.m. in the morning and around 6 a.m. That's when I'm like, oh, I want to go to bed. So I was up and then I'm like, oh my God, now it's 6 a.m. So I got to get up and get myself ready so I could go for my citizen interview. And I did. I looked like <laughs> Wednesday. I looked like I was just like went from, you know, I came from the club. Okay. My face is beat up. My eyes are huge, uh, uh, puffy. I, I look exhausted. I look depressed. I look tired. And I was in the waiting room. Uh, but, but the only thing about me is, okay. The only thing about me, I dress, I dress good. I dress properly. Okay. I wore that set of burgundy outfit, <laughs> that suit, uh, set burgundy color. Uh, but the only thing that was bad is my face. I was looking crazy anyway. So I remember I was sitting next to this lady and she was like, uh, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine because you know, I look depressed, you know, I look depressed and she looked at me and she's like, uh, you're going to be okay. Okay. I, I, I know a lot of people, they, they get nervous, but you're going to be fine because, uh, the test is not a multiple choices. Okay. They're not multiple choices where they're going to give you a paper and then you're just going to answer a question that you guess what you saw in the book. No, it's actually orally. They, they ask you question and then you have to answer. Okay. So imagine it was like 100 questions, but when it comes to the immigration, they only ask you six questions and you can only answer five or six. And I answered all of them. Okay. I answered all of them. And the officer was like, oh my God, congratulations. You pass. And I was actually nervous when it comes to the N400 application, because a lot of people, they were saying that when I was watching on YouTube, they were saying, they're going to ask you, uh, what, what these words mean, the vocabulary, the communist party, the totalitarian party, what is that mean, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what the fuck? So I got to study in you know, order the definition of vocabulary, vocabulary words. I'm like, oh my God, I don't have time for all of that. I have time to study the civil, the civil test. I don't have, to, I mean, the civic test. I don't have time to study N400. But lucky for me, it was only yes or no question when it comes to the civic uh, when it comes to the N-400, it's like, oh, have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been convicted? Uh, did you vote last year? So I'm like, hell no, that was a tricky question. <laughs> I said, no. And she said, why? I said, because I am not a citizen, hopefully yet. <laughs> and she said, good job. And then she asked me about my tax, if I pay taxes. I said, yeah, I do. I pay taxes. So I, so I, sh I was about to show her my my tax return paper. And then she's like, it's okay. I believe you. And that was it. That was it. And she asked me, uh, she said, uh, I mean, she put a sentence, uh, uh, and she asked me to read it and I read it and she, uh, give me the answer to write it down and hey, writing and reading 
English, I'm good at it, okay? <laughs> anyway, so this is the big thing. The big thing is I change my name. I change my name. So I know when it comes to my to my mom, uh, she was like, oh no, don't do that. Don't change your name, blah, blah, blah. So I still have my name, okay? I still have my beautiful name, my first name, but I changed my last name, which is my, my dad name. So I take that fucking last name off my name and my ex-husband last name. I never really put my ex-husband name on no ID, but uh, I have my ex-husband name on um, marriage license. So I, I just like take both name out and and I have a new last name. I chose a new last name, a random last name. Uh, I was looking uh, some of meaning powerful last name on Google. So I found one, I found one. And I, and I look at the meaning behind it. The meaning behind the name was, I mean, is um, courageous, strength, protection, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, this is it. This is what described me. I have strength. I am powerful. This is the name that suit me. So I took that last name and I changed my name. <laughs> so I'm no longer a Damus. Okay. I'm no longer D-A-M-U-S. So I feel like why would I keep uh, my Damus name, which is a name that I was never welcome. Okay. This is a name that never done anything for me since i was a a little girl this is a name who never give a fuck about me this is a, a last name who was never protecting me loving me care for me so i don't want to have a name uh where i am not proud of the, a lot of time a lot of us carry some name that's bring bad luck okay that bring um a lot of uh, sadness a lot of depression a lot a lot of bullshit okay some of the name some name, okay, so I'm like, uh-uh, Damis is not a name that bring good to my life. Damis bring, br bring destruction, uh, Damis bring destruction, sadness, uh, depression, hurtful, painful, and mental health, etc. So I don't want this last name. So I dropped that last name. And so now... I feel, I feel like a big, a big, 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 big heavy load come off my shoulder and I feel good. I feel good about my decision. I feel happy about my decision. Egg. I haven't told my mom that I changed my last name yet. I know she's not going to be happy about it and I don't give a fuck. She, she's not happy about it because I'm grown. I do whatever the fuck I want. So, uh, 